have risen and I am with you still. Alleluia. You have laid your hand upon me. Alleluia. Too wonderful for me, this knowledge. Alleluia, alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. Tumsifu Yesu Christu. Leo ni siku ya furaha. Ni siku ambayo Bwana ameifanya. Na tunakusanyika hapa kama Wakristu ili tuweze kusherekea pamoja Ekaristi takatifu ambapo tunasherekea siku kuu ya ufufuko wake Bwana wetu Yesu Kristu. It is indeed the day that the Lord has made. The day we have been preparing for, we have been eagerly waiting for. Christ is truly risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us celebrate this resurrection and let us pray that Christ, who has defeated death, may help us also to defeat death may help us to follow him as his true disciples. Tujute dhambi zetu ili tujueke tayari kumtolea Mungu sadaka inayompendeza. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins, and may he bring us all to everlasting life.
First reading, a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. In those days, Peter opened his mouth and said, You know the word which was proclaimed throughout all Judea, beginning from Galilee, after the baptism which John preached. How God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with, the, with power. How he went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him, and we are witnesses to all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. But God raised him on the third day and made him manifest, not to all the people, but to us who were chosen by God as witnesses, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. And he commanded us to preach to the people and to testify that he is the one ordained by God, to be judge of the living and the dead, to him all the prophets were bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name, the word of God, the God of the Lord. The Responsorial Psalm, Psalm 118, and the response is, This is the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice in it and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made, let us rejoice in it and be glad. And we shall sing. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the This is the day, this is the day.
Somo la pili Somo katika barua ya kwanza ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Wakorinto Dugu zangu amjui kwamba chachu kidogo kuchachucha donge lote basi yodosheni chachu ya zamani mpate kuwa donge jipya Ninyi mlio watu msio chachuka Kwa maana Bwana kondoo wetu wa Pasca ametolewa sadaka die Kristu. Haya, tuadhimishe siku kuu si kwa chachu ya zamani wala kwa chachu ya ubaya na uovu bali kwa doge lisilo chachuka yani la unyofu na ukweli neno la Bwana. Sekwensia tusimame. <coughs> Kitikio, Kristu Pasca yetu amechijua sadaka tuile karamuye na tuibe aleluya. Kristu Pasca yetu amechijua sadaka tuile karamuye na tuibe aleluya. Kristu Pasca yetu amechijua sadaka tuile karamuye na tuibe aleluya. Kristu Pasca yetu amechijua sadaka Tuile karamuye na tuibe aleluya. Kristu pasca yetu amechinjwa sadaka. Tuile karamuye na tuibe aleluya. Kristu pasca Sa 
mwanakondoo wetu wa Pasca ametolewa sadaka. Haya tuadhimishe sikukuu katika Bwana. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early while it was still dark and saw that the stone had been taken away from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciple, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have led him. Peter then came out with the other disciple, and they went toward the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first, and stooping to look in, and saw the linen cloth lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came following him and went into the tomb. He saw the linen cloth lying and the napkin which had been on his head, not lying with the linen cloth, but ruled up in a place by itself. Then the other disciple, who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw, and he believed. For as yet they did not know the scripture that he must rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Christ is risen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Not simply because the stone has been rolled away, but because the word of God has been fulfilled. We are here, dear brothers and sisters, to celebrate Easter, to celebrate the solemnity of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to celebrate the fact that Jesus is no longer to be found among the dead, but is truly risen, as he said. With this celebration, we are coming to the end of a journey that we all started 
on Ash Wednesday when we were commissioned by the church through the distribution of ashes on our foreheads to go and become London people, to go and become reconciled people. And from Ash Wednesday, we started the journey of land, whereby we were encouraged to pray more, whereby we were encouraged to offer almsgiving to those around us, the needy, where we were encouraged to do fasting, to observe fasting, and more so where we, are, where we were encouraged to grow closer to God through the sacrament of reconciliation. And we have done that. We have been doing that. Irrespective of the fact that we were interrupted by a coronavirus outbreak, but still, wherever we were in our families, in our places where we live, we continued this lending journey. And this lending journey culminated with the celebration of the Last Supper on Holy Thursday and the celebration of the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ on Good Friday. And all that was a wonderful preparation for us to be able to gather here today and to celebrate, to be happy, to marry, because Christ is truly risen. The journey that we have started has borne fruit. The journey that we started and the journey we set out to, uh, uh, to proceed with has brought us fruits and the fruit is that we are no longer children of darkness. We are no longer children who are overwhelmed by death, but we are children of life. We have received life in its abundance through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has overcome death. And that's the news at Easter time. That is the good news that we receive during this time when we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is good with Easter? Easter is good and or good news for us because at this point we celebrate the vindication of our own faith, of our own Christian faith. If Christ is vindicated, we who believe in him and who are his followers are also vindicated. Our faith in Jesus Christ has been vindicated. It is Happy Easter because we are celebrating the triumph of truth over falsity. The triumph of justice over injustice the triumph of truth over lie. And what appeared to be a tragedy has become like a comedy. Those of us who, was, who watch movies, sometimes you watch a movie and you find an innocent person being persecuted and sometimes you feel with the person and you are hoping that the end of the story would be changed. That this innocent person who is being pursued in this movie that we watch, uh, the, the prayer and the, 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 the urge and the eagerness of everybody watching is that I hope this story is going to change. And at the end, we are relieved, we relax when we see the story changing. But this person who has been pursued uh, in, in, in a movie 
uh, he now uh, the, the, the person now uh, uh, wins or he becomes victorious. And this is like what has happened with the death of our Lord Jesus Christ, watching, especially on Good Friday, how it is happening with Jesus, how brutally they treat him, how unjustly they condemn him. And our hope, like in a movie, is that at the end, hopefully, this story is going to change. And this is what we celebrate at Easter, that the tragedy, the story, the, the tragedy that we've been watching uh, has become a comedy. The story of Good Friday is a story of the triumph of falsity of a truth, is a story about the triumph of injustice over injustice over justice. It is always a, like a triumph of evil over good. When we see how Jesus is being, is falsely condemned, as I said, Jesus is unjustly condemned, he's accused, he's crucified, his close friends run away from him, they desert him, even his close disciples. People are shouting, crucify him, crucify him, even when they don't have a reason why he should be crucified. People like Pilate, those who are in power, even though they are seeing the truth, they're not able to stand for the truth and say that this man is innocent. And even when they are able to do that, they are not willing to do that because they are afraid of the masses. They are afraid of losing uh, their place uh, of honor uh, in, their, in their governance. It is a bad story. But the good news is that this bad story does not end the chapter in a book. But there is another chapter. And that's the good news, that the bad story does not finish everything. There is a new chapter. There is a chapter uh, of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. There is a chapter that all this evil, all this uh, injustice, all this betrayal is going to be overcome. And at the end, the truth will reveal itself and it will take the day. And I think it's a lesson for us as we try to follow our Lord Jesus Christ and to understand uh, the word of God, that uh, it's always good to believe in the truth. It's always good to always fight for justice. It is good always to stick to what is true, to stick to what is just, to stick to what we think is the right thing. Because no matter what happens, truth will not remain untruth. Truth will always remain truth, and a lie will always remain a lie. And there is no day that truth will become a lie, and no day a lie will become truth. There is no way injustice will become justice, and justice will become injustice. That is the truth. And if we stick to uh, doing the right thing, and knowing the right thing, uh, doing justice, and uh, uh, upholding the truth, then we will not uh, lose. We may lose temporarily. We may lose the game uh, maybe uh, um, uh, partly. But we know that at the end of the day, we shall become victorious just like our Lord Jesus Christ has become victorious. And that's why we are here and we are able to join our Lord Jesus Christ to celebrate uh, the victory. That the women went to the tomb and found that Jesus is no longer there is, of course, um, uh, one of the uh, proofs, at least physical proof, that Jesus Christ is risen. But as we, we continue with the Easter celebration, will realize that the real proof that Jesus is risen is not so much 
the empty tomb, but not so much the linen that were removed, but the fact that Jesus continues to live with his people, that Jesus continues to appear. He will be appearing to his disciples as they will be walking to Emmaus, devastated and uh, angry, Jesus will appear to them and they will recognize them uh, at the breaking of the bread. And uh, many more times Jesus will reveal himself to others as he continues to reveal himself to us. And today as we celebrate this uh, great solemnity of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, it should be our prayer that uh, Jesus who is risen may find his place in our lives and in our families. That Jesus may help us uh, to embrace this truth that he has stood for uh, to the end. Because Jesus came to proclaim the kingdom of God and he has stayed faithful, remained faithful to this preaching of the kingdom of God. That even after it has brought him death, Jesus was not afraid, but he was ready uh, to do the will of the Father. And since he has won us as his disciples through baptism, we pray that we too may embrace the truth, we may embrace the call uh, to live and remain faithful to the gospel truth and to remain faithful to follow with him so that as he is himself risen and as he has promised us life in abundance in resurrection, that we too may be able to uh, attain the life of the resurrection at the end of it all. We pray for the grace of God during this period of Easter to give us courage, to give us strength, and to support us. And especially during these difficult times that we are living as a nation and as a world and even as a church uh, of a coronavirus outbreak, we pray for the grace of God to keep us safe and for the grace of God to remain uh, strong in faith, uh, persevering in hope, and fervent in charity. We make this as our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us arise and profess our faith. I believe in one God, Let us place our needs before God our Father, rejoicing because Christ has triumphed over death and entered into glory.
for the Holy Father, Pope Francis, that, like St. Peter, he may continue to lead the church in witnessing to the joyful truth of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have decided, dedicated their lives to God, that they may look for things that are in heaven and be Christ's witnesses in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. For those unjustly deprived for their freedom, that they may draw fresh hope of freedom from the mystery of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. For the family of God, gathered here in Easter joy, that we may bear witness to the risen Christ and reflect him in our lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have died, that they may rise to eternal life in Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For the grace of God and healing during this challenging time of COVID-19 pandemic, that may God may heal all the infected and affected, and grant doctors and scientists the wisdom to curb the menace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. Almighty Father, your beloved Son has risen from the dead, as he promised us. In peace and joy, we present our prayers to you through the same risen Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of us, for the praise and glory of Christ, for our Lord and the glory of all His holy church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. trusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, 
he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you send your only begotten Son to be our Saviour. Made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature and in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and re restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruit for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O oh Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these gifts, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us, left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father Most Holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and while they were at supper, he took bread and blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which should be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. death and his descent to the realm of the dead, we proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we wait his coming in glory, we offer you in his body and blood the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O oh Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, 
they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, John, our Bishop, David is auxiliary, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, you are entire people and all who seek me, we, who, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grand O merciful Father, that we may enter into heavenly inheritance with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with the apostles and the saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God, and the now and forever. The gift, the greatest gift that Jesus, the risen Lord, gave to his disciples was the gift of peace. Peace is very important in our existence as human beings and we want to join the disciples as they ask for the gift of peace from our Lord Jesus Christ to ask for peace, peace in the whole world, in our country, in our families, in our communities. Lord Jesus Christ who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be always with you. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold, Christ Jesus, the risen Lord, is the one who takes away the sins of the world, the Lamb of God. Happy are we who are invited to his banquet. Body and blood of Christ, bring us to life everlasting. Amen.
Christ, our Passover has been sacrificed, hallelujah. Therefore, let us keep the feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Bow your heads for God's blessing. Buana wena nye. Mungu wa mependa kutukombo wana kutufanya watoto wake. Kwa kufufuka kwa ke mwana we wapeke. Aomba wajalie furaha na baraka zake. Amina. Na ye mkombozi yali wajalie ukuwa siku zote. Na wajalie vile vile urithi wa uzima wa milele. Awape baraka muna zoitaji. Kuishi hapa duniani na mbadae mpate uzima wa milele. Kwa imani mefufuka pamoja nae katika ubatizo. Na katika kuishi vema hapa duniani. Tunaomba mkai pamoja na emilele mbinguni. Na baraka yake mungu mwenyezi ya baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu iwashukie na kukana nyi daima milele. Nende ni na amani, alelu. 